Hi everyone, I'm Kin from Organized Hipster. Welcome to this quick walkthrough and tutorial for the 2024 planner. This is the first of my dated planner series. If you haven't yet uploaded or downloaded your files from Etsy and you haven't uploaded them into GoodNotes or Notability, I have a separate video just for that, which I will link to at the bottom. If you're using a newer version of this planner, the same tutorial applies and you can always take a look at my other videos that give more detail on how to actually use the tools in GoodNotes and how to use the, the template pages, how to copy paste them. So first things first, we just wanna make sure that we're in the right mode. Um, if you see this little icon on the top right here, the, the pencil with the swirly line means that you are going, if you tap this, you're going to access the edit menu. The pencil with the cross through it means you are gonna access, if you tap that, you're gonna access the hyperlinks. It's read mode. So you do wanna make sure that you're in this mode in order to tap the links on the screen. If you see the pencil with the swirl, it means you're in view mode, in good notes. Something to keep in mind with GoodNotes specifically is when you tap in GoodNotes, you tap like, let's say the edge, it takes you to the next page. And then the same thing with the other side takes you back to the uh, previous page. So you wanna be careful uh, not to do that. If you wanna get the tabs or anything, any links here, just be mindful, like you can access your tabs, but just if you go too far to the right, you're going to uh, trigger sort of GoodNotes to just go to the next page. So this entire planner has this tabbed menu on the side. You'll find it on all 514 pages. Um, you can see that there's access to the planner pages as well as the templates. Now there are tons of hyperlinks in this planner. And while that seems overwhelming, it's made so that you can actually jump through your planner between the year, the months, the weeks, the days really quickly um, so that it makes it easy for you to plan your days. The first place I'm going to show you with your hyperlinks is under this tab right here. This is your quick links. So these are all broken down into the different sections, which you'll also find here. Um, and so you can access the main covers from here, or you can access the individual templates within these sections. You also have this little area here to write in your custom subjects. And these are hyperlinked to each of these right here. These are the cover sections for the subjects. Then you have your, in, your 2024 index or your year index view, whatever version that you're using. All the months, weeks, and days on this page are hyperlinked. You can get to literally anywhere in your planner in a breeze. You can always get to this page from here. So if you're trying to really just jump around very quickly, um, this is probably the fastest way to get there. You can also reach different parts of your planner through these pages. On the monthly, these take you to the monthly spreads. On the weekly, these take you to the first week of every month. On the daily, these take you to the first day of every month. For the rest of the templates in this planner, it will take you to the actual templates within each section. On the yearly spread, all the months are linked to the monthly spreads, and this is linked back to your 2024 index. So in your monthly section, when you go and you take a look at your monthly spread, you'll see a menu at the top. Each of these months links you to the monthly spread for that month. On the page, you'll see the numbers, they are all hyperlinked. Then the weeks themselves are hyperlinked. For the weekly spread, you have a menu at the top as well, but the months behave a little differently. When you tap on these months, they take you to the first week of each month. When you tap on the days listed below that, they'll take you, of course, to the days of the month that's selected. January is selected here, so if you were to tap any of these, they would take you to the days of January. The numbers listed in the boxes will take you to the daily spread. And on the right, you'll see what week number we're in. On the daily spread, the months at the top, when you tap them, they'll take you to the first day of that month. The numbers listed at the bottom will take you to the days of the active month. So we're in January. Um, if we tap 18, we'll get to January 18. On the right side, you'll see the week number and then a little arrow, which indicates that you can just get back to this week. Tap once and you'll get back to week number three. One last spot that I'm gonna show you for hyperlinks on all the spreads. On your monthly spread, this will take you back to your year. 
On your weekly spread, this will take you back to the selected month. So in this case, it's January uh, because we're in the first week of January. On the daily spread, this will take you back to the monthly spread as well. Now for the rest of your planner, which are the templates included. These templates are included in a way that makes them really easy to use without overwhelming you. It is broken down into sections, but you can actually customize this planner any way that you want. Whatever fits your sort of lifestyle, whatever fits your planning style. Um, you've got weekly habit trackers, 30 day habit trackers. You've got a meal planner, a mood tracker, a gratitude journal, and a workout tracker. In your wealth section, you have a monthly budget, income tracker, and an expense tracker. And in your goals, you have a my goals section where you sort of write them down generally, what your goals are and the time frame. And then you have your goal planner where you break it down uh, by goal. There's a notes section, which is really customizable for you. You can keep things within this section. You can sort of like use it like a notebook in this section or here in these little tab sections, these are custom. So if you want to like, let's say have a meditation journal or you want to have a self-care journal, you can just label it as such. So I do get into more detail about how to customize your planner, you know, such as making copies and uh, pasting the pages in different sections of your planner. I, I get into more detail in other videos, which I will link to below. But this was just a quick walkthrough to help you sort of understand where things are, how this planner is structured. If you do need any help at all, please do not hesitate to message me. I am right here on Etsy. I'm literally attached to my Etsy messaging by the hip. I will always respond to you <laughs> right away. So just if you're having any, you know, any issues, please message me. I will help you through it. Um, whatever it is. And even if it's the dumbest thing, please don't be afraid to ask. Um, that's what I'm here for. And it, there's a learning curve. So don't worry. You can ask me literally anything. Thank you so much for watching this and enjoy your planning.